Hey everybody, welcome to Off The Rack. I am Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. And today we're going to talk about a free comic book day offering from DC Comics. It is Future's End number zero. Now, we all read this issue, and we're going to rate the book based on art, story, and writing. And then we're going to ask ourselves, based on just the comic between the two covers, would you buy the next issue in this sequence? So, let's just talk about our initial reactions to Future's End number zero from the New 52. Ben? <laughs> Oh, God, it was terrible. Yeah, I, I feel very similarly, Ethan. I won't say it was terrible. I was not a fan. Right. I will say that. Fair enough. It's not the worst trash I've ever read in my life. Now, I loved the Batman Beyond cartoon show. Mm -hmm. I know that this takes elements from the cartoon show, but it's not technically the show we remember. I like the art. Now, the yes, art in the I book was, was fun. Cool. Yeah. I did enjoy that. It's, I like the colors. I mean, the coloring to me is, yeah. is the strongest part. It gives you good scenes to look at. Yeah. But if only you gave a shit about what's happening. <laughs> and if it made sense. The premise of this comic is it's the end of everything. Like humanity's almost eradicated. All the superheroes are turned into robot robots, zombie most of them, and they're fighting the remaining superheroes. Yeah, robot arachnid people, yep, yeah. I guess. Which and I someone's just like, this is gonna look fing awesome. That's and I really, guess it looks kinda cool, but it's Yeah, but dumb. if you don't care about what happens, then it doesn't yeah. really matter. It's like, oh, they're all dying, everyone's dying. Okay. It's almost brilliant in its writing because you want to root for Batman beyond to prevent that future yes. from happening, but only because it's so boring and trite. <laughs> I also I don't like, like the fact that when people get assimilated, they start speaking. Speaking in binary, and it's literally That's just, how you know the robot took them over. And it's literally just zero one zero one zero one. Yeah, yeah why would they say that? They're so, robots, but they're also I like acolytes, cultists. like they cultists. Yeah, I yeah. is order. Like I the eye had to actually brainwash them, but they're robots. So yeah. couldn't it just program them? Why do they need to repeat? His mantra? slogan. It doesn't know. make any sense. You're not yeah. convincing And also, anybody. the first time that Wonder Woman attacks someone, she's just like, fatal wound, eye seed planted, and then you never hear that again. I did like this part, because it was really f***ing stupid. <laughs> There's this one scene where Green Lantern and Blue Beetle come out of the ground, and they're just like, the sector's been breached! Targets, everyone get them! And then one person in the crowd just goes, I as order, I as all! <laughs> Are we still like, doing like, that? Right, guys? <laughs> No? Just me? Oh, All right, we're not right now? Let's, I'm sorry. Let's attack. Let's go get him. <laughs> art. Art? I'd still give it a seven. I think it's actually some good art. Yeah. It's well drawn. The characters are very emotive. I apologize for not naming them all because mm. I don't know necessarily who did what in this issue, so I don't mm. feel right, you know, naming them. I give it a seven. I give it an eight. Uh, how about writing? I give it a three. I give it a four. four. For plot and dialogue combined, I'd probably give it a four. I, I'd, I'd keep it under half, like yeah. under 50%. Yeah. But three is pretty, I, I'd say that's fair. So it's a pass from us. DC's big summer blockbuster is kind of a dud over here on Off the Rack. Worth the price of admission, I'd say. Worth the price of free? Free? Yes. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can visit us over at littlehouseonline.com, see everything we've ever done, or visit us on YouTube at youtube.com slash tvlittlehouse. Ben, you want to tell them more about our sponsors? Yeah, our sponsor is Comics Fix. Uh, they are basically the online Netflix of uh, indie comics. Go to the Garden State Comic Fest on August 23rd and visit us in person. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> that was a great one. <laughs>